Give Jesus a big hand clap. Give Jesus a big, 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 big hand clap. Amen. I want us tonight to take a few minutes to pray in the spirit. Tonight will be an extraordinary encounter in the name of Jesus Christ. God is here to do us good. How many of you believe that? In the name of Jesus Christ. I assure you that God will surpass your expectations tonight in the name of Jesus. So as we submit ourselves to a few minutes of prayer, please don't be distracted. It is part of the service. Pray from the depth of your heart. Any distraction must be seen as an evil spirit trying to rob you of your portion tonight. Hallelujah. So you pray with fervency. You pray with all your heart. Lift your voice and say, Father. Father. Shout it again. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that everything you have for me, I receive tonight. Go ahead and begin to pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray with understanding, pray with power, fire, passion. Shake barasco brande ge balaka to se fresia. Shada bega de balaka prakata baranda kasa brande ge de belegeta. Everything you have, the healing. Everything you have, the impartation, the open doors, direction, illumination. I receive tonight by your spirit. Someone pray. Seka parakatos kale brenda ke bereketos. Sati bakata parakos shabrenda ke belekest. Sky Zabazasika Paranda Shavra Sebelekatas Emprata Kaparaka Tafraska Dabalaka Tafrenda Gebelekeska Preta Gebelekatos. Those following from across the globe, pray in the spirit that which God has in store for you. Receive by faith. The Bible says, Now there remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says, let us labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Shata kaparakas kapata katabeleka tofras kaparanta kap. Shalige berekete parandas kaprake belashiasa. Prakata paranta kaprake tebeleke tos. We labor in the spirit tonight to enter that rest in the name of Jesus Christ that plain in the spirit a portion for me a portion for my destiny a portion for my family I step into it by faith someone is praying seriously someone is praying without distraction hallelujah Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. It's only his process and his dealings that is slow. His word is quick and powerful. That is our next prayer point. You're going to cry, Lord, do a quick walk. It didn't take you so long to create the heavens and the earth. Recreate my life tonight. Do a quick walk. Lift your voice and begin to cry. A quick walk. A quick walk. A quick walk. Shake up a rakatoska brand rakatosia. Do a quick walk. Someone pray. Do a quick walk in my ministry. A quick walk in my life. A quick walk in my destiny. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Do a quick walk in the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk. A quick walk in my body. A quick walk in my finances. A quick walk over my job, over my family, over my marriage, over my children, over my health. Go ahead and pray. Do a quick walk by the Spirit of the living God.
Someone is praying. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Genesis 21 verse 6. This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. I'd like you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, I step into a season of laughter in the name of Jesus. Laughter means the war has come to an end. Laughter means the struggle has come to an end. Laughter means victory is established. You do not laugh during the time of war. You do not laugh during the time of travail. No woman laughs while giving birth. It is after the child comes that laughter follows. Someone pray. Oh God, make me to laugh. Release my laughter in this season. Laughter meaning rest. Laughter meaning victory established. Laughter meaning testimonies made manifest. Is someone praying? All that hear will laugh with me. All that see tonight will rejoice with me. All that see my healing. All that see my prophetic word. All that see God locate me will laugh with me. Go ahead and pray. Shake a parakatoski at about. Sabranda Gaberekos, Salakos, Gaberekos. All that here will laugh with me. All that here will rejoice with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Next prayer point. You have turned my mourning into dancing and my sorrow to joy. Watch this. If water can be turned to wine, it means pain can be turned to joy. If water can be turned to wine, it means unemployment can be turned to victory, even in terms of employment. The, 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 listen, the idea there is not just water turning to wine. The idea is the power that can make anything become what God says. Anything anything water turning to wine is only a sample it is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent it says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen visible now current are temporal that under a certain conditions the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else say father one more time, say, Father, everything in my life that is not your will, let it change tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Everything in my life, everything in my life that does not look like you, everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me, everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint, someone pray, let it change. Everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up, please. 
in the court of law when a verdict is given and it is against you and you feel that justice was not meted out there is a dimension of the judiciary called the appeal court when you go to the appeal court you go with greater evidences and say in as much as it was a judge that made that declaration you still feel within your spirit that justice was not meted out are we together now even when God the judge sent a prophet to a man called Hezekiah he said pack up your load he said, God Almighty sent a genuine prophet to go and tell a man put your house together you will not recover Hezekiah said I respect you prophet you leave he turned his face knowing that the Lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love that in the character of God mercy triumphs over judgment are we together say father every judgment against my life against my family manifesting as a cause manifesting as negative patterns let the mercy of God overrun and overturn open your mouth and pray let mercy we appeal by the mercy of God that the ill speakings of darkness we appeal by the mercy of God that the ordinances of judgment be changed let it be overrun let it be overturned koinonia pray mercy triumphs over judgment mercy that speaks death mercy that speaks defeat mercy over curses mercy over ill speakings that even the lawful captives by the mercy of God will be set free tonight In the name of Jesus hallelujah we are still praying once upon a time the Bible tells us that because the wickedness of men had reached the heavens that God was going to met out judgment upon the earth and there was such chaos and catastrophe the Bible says the heavens gave up their waters the earth gave up their waters every one of the then inhabitants died they perished in that flood except Noah his wife the three sons and their wives but then the Bible says the rain continued the flood continued but something happened when God was about to bring it to a stop I hope you know that it did not just stop because God wanted it to stop let me show you Genesis 8 verse 1 hmm. and God remembered Noah this is why the rain stopped and God remembered Noah and every living thing watch this and the cattle that was with him in the ark and God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuaged verse 2 it says and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained not because it was time 
God remembered that there was still a man. If this rain continues, even the man I'm trying to preserve, that evil will eventually destroy him. There is a limit to which the ark can receive and preserve. While it was rising, God remembered for the sake of Noah, I have to stop this flood now. You're going to pray. There are certain evils that have prevailed, but now that you have come, you are going to say, Lord, remember that I am your son. Remember that I am your daughter. The Bible says, which of you, whose son will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for fish? and he will give him a serpent go ahead and pray lord remember not as though he has forgotten is a law in the spirit it brings him to consciousness of the fact that you need his mighty hand in your life go ahead and pray if you remember noah remember my family remember me go ahead and pray and the lord remembered noah and the lord remembered joshua selman and the Lord remembered Koinonia and the Lord remembered your business and the Lord remembered the sickness that is plaguing you hallelujah hallelujah when John the Apostle was recording the events that would follow the eschatological events that would follow he said that judgment will be meted out during the great tribulation and he said God himself had to put a restraint he says for the sake of the elect can I tell you no matter what kind of evil comes upon the earth there are men that move the heart of God and for their sake he will restrain it are we together now yeah. evil cannot continue unhindered when there are saints in light which of you whose child will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for meat fish and will give him a serpent and God remembered Noah and God remembered Noah there are men who can forget and it is a terrible thing when people forget about you I have taught you here one man forgetting joseph added two years to his calamity hallelujah the king forgetting mordecai left him at the gate for only god knows how long but the bible says that night could not king ahazaroth sleep and he said bring me the chronicles we're still going to pray over this remembrance the memory of men can fail them, but the Spirit of God has an assignment to bring to remembrance. That includes your destiny helper. He can bring to remembrance that you said in January this young girl should have gotten a job and it is within your power. What has stopped you from acting? Say, Father. Shout it. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let the book of remembrance be open concerning me go ahead and pray you're not wasting your time you're programming realities in the spirit through prayer let the book of remembrance be open outside pray all the overflows pray connecting online pray Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There was a very interesting story in the Bible. It's the story of the fig tree. The Bible says that it was not even yet time for figs. And Jesus was hungry. And he saw a fig tree, green, very inviting. And he went there hoping to get figs. And the Bible says not finding figs, he cursed it and said, no man eat of you again. And by the next day, when they came there, the Bible says they saw that it had withered. You're going to pray. It is dangerous to not bear fruit. John 15 and verse 8. Herein is our Father glorified. When ye bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Fruit here talks of results. 
it matters that you produce results. Can I tell you, the world we live in will never place a demand upon your life until and unless you bear fruit. You bear fruit in ministry. You bear fruit in business. You bear. There are many fruitless Christians. They are born again. They are saved, but there is nothing about their life that makes them the desire of nations. Don't expect people to come and rally around you. Don't expect people to be used by God to support what you stand for if you do not bear fruit. You are going to cry. The spirit that is responsible, listen, listen, listen. I've eaten a few fruits in my life and there are a few of them you can see the fruit looking wonderful, especially fruits like garden egg. And then you give it a bite only to find worms inside. Has that happened to you? that you see a beauty, it doesn't look bad, doesn't look, um, you know, decayed, looking very inviting. And then you cut it and you find out that there is rot and something happening within. Immediately, what was once a beauty and a delight will only be good for the dustbin. You're going to pray. Everything fighting fruitfulness in my life, in whatever manner, I curse it tonight by the God of heaven. Go ahead and pray. Everything fighting fruitfulness in ministry, fruitfulness in destiny, fruitfulness in career. I cause it by the Spirit of the living God. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Shalikapas kebrande kebereketosiata. Hallelujah. Let me give us two more prayer points before we sit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that you are used to receiving an impartation for speed, but you are going to pray it. Hallelujah. God can bring acceleration to a man's life. And there are many ways he does that. Number one is by making all grace abound towards you. All the resources that you need usually motion listen to me motion is impeded when the resources to make for speed is not there for instance if you are building and you do not have the money to complete it the building remains at the level of your last supply if it is 10 years it remains there but there are times that resources can come and you can build and finish in a moment are we together you are in ministry and there is bankruptcy of the grace that should produce results and bring increase and expansion always. If that grace is not there, the ministry will be pegged to reflect the last level of supply. You're going to pray that God will bring acceleration. Most of us here have vehicles and most of us drive. Hallelujah. When you drive, there usually are two components that your feet is responsible for maneuvering. One is called the brake. The other is called the accelerator. When you leave your house and the moment the green light is clear for you, especially when you are aware that you are late for a program or for an interview, you make use of that provision in your car called an accelerator. Are we together? And the accelerator helps you to catch up and sometimes so that you are able to beat time. Lord, accelerate my life. That is the prayer you are going to pray. Many of us, you are not experiencing stagnation, but you are too slow. Everything about your life is too slow. Lift your voice and cry to the God of heaven. Accelerate my life. Make sure you pray with understanding. I can't waste my destiny. Accelerate my life, oh God. Accelerate my life. Bring establishment to my life. Bring stability to my life. Accelerate 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 my life.
accelerate my life. Koinonia, you are praying. Accelerate my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Final prayer. Matthew 6, 7. But when you pray, it says, Use not vain repetition as the heathen, for they think that they will be heard for their much speaking. Next verse. Be not therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things you have need of, even before you ask him. But then it says, When you pray, pray in this manner. Go ahead. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Now, verse 11, shout it with all your heart. Give us this day. One more time. Give us this day. If God said this day, May your lack of faith not make it this month. May your lack of faith not make it next year. Listen, he said, give us this day our... There is something called daily bread. Daily bread. Bread there does not just talk about what you make with flour. It means the requisite provisions that make for your efficiency per day. God is that meticulous. He said, you already said you, he, you called him father. That means for every day of your life, the moment you are waking up, the angels are positioned. They have been sent to make sure that all that is responsible for your efficiency is there. But I can knock your door trying to give you a parcel and as a result of lack of discernment or you are not even in the house, you may not receive it. We are going to pray this prayer. Give it to us again. Verse 11, give me this day my daily bread. Lord, by faith and with every sense of gratitude, I cry. Give my family this day. Give my ministry this day. Open your mouth and pray. You will marvel and wonder at what happens to you as a result of this prayer. Lord, give me this day. Send me help from Zion this day. All that it takes for my efficiency. Give me this day, not this month, not this year, not this decade, not this century. Give me this day. Give me this day. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. 